Welcome everybody back to the Radical Market a YouTube channel where we talk about how to leverage credit, how to leverage social media, and how to make money online. So if that interests you, smash that like button, punch that subscribe button, and demolish that like button. Anyways, guys, uh, if this is your first time on the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. My whole goal is to give you all stuff and no fluff. The banks hate me, the gurus hate me because I tell you what they don't want you to know and what they want you to pay for. So make sure you smash that subscribe button and like button because what I'm gonna get into today is gonna be a game changer and I do videos one to two to three times a day and you don't wanna miss it. So. All of my radical marketers out there, salute. I appreciate you. You're the reason why I do this. This channel is blowing up. It's so cool to get to know you guys and see everybody winning in credit and getting credit lines and seeing questions answered. Just It just brings a lot of joy to my heart to be able to be part of something that is bigger than me. And uh, it means a lot. So every time you see a video, just smash the like button, smash the the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber and put a comment in and drop a comment whether it's a question concern advice or encouragement to somebody that'd be great all right guys we're gonna jump into something that I think is gonna be a game changer for all of you business owners or future business owners out there um, I've done a couple reviews in the past on this but the channel has grown so rapidly that I don't think that the video got attention so I want to redo this video uh, with you all and I want you guys to see how valuable this uh, lender is to so many that we're gonna jump right into it okay this lender is called BHG now I've done a, uh, a review on their credit cards but I want to really break this down even more so because a lot of you have asked me how to get this bankers healthcare group is a company out of Florida in New York where they work together They're, they have two locations New York and Florida their underwriting is primarily in Florida and their marketing is in New York and they man the phones and they're great people and bankers healthcare group was developed and designed to take care of health professionals to help get them funding to start their practices uh, because so many people had debt what happened was is how i found these people was i was looking for no credit check or loans that wouldn't report to the personal credit or alternative financing and i stumbled across these guys and what happened is i did i saw this exact same screen and i called this 800 number and i said hey i'm not a health professional but do i still qualify yeah you don't need to be a health professional they just give longer terms to health professionals but they give seven to eight year loans for people that are not health professionals and then up to 10 years for health professionals to keep the the payment lower okay so that was really cool. So I was like, okay, great. I said, what do I need to do to like pre-qualify? They said, basically all we do is we, we get some information of how much you're seeking and some basic information from you and then we're gonna do a soft pull to your TransUnion. I said, TransUnion, they said, yeah, TransUnion. I said, okay, great, because my TransUnion scores off the charts. They said, yeah, it's not gonna be a hard pull. Um, even if you get approved for this, there's not gonna be a hard pull. This is gonna be completely off of your personal credit report. So that way you can get additional funding from other lenders. I said, whoa, that's a game changer. So TransUnion hot, soft pull, you don't gotta be a medical professional. You don't even have to have a business set up. You can get a personal loan from them if you qualify, okay? Um, and that's it, all right? So what happened was I did the soft pull and they said, great, so we're gonna have uh, a specialist get in touch with you tomorrow and let you know what you qualified for. Well, I ended up qualifying for uh, my first run, I, I qualified for $25,000. Um, and so basically what had happened then was they said, if you want this money, then basically all you need to do is send in the, your, your most recent pay stubs, or if you own your own business, then you can do your financials there. But this will work for people that doesn't even have an actual business up and running yet, but has a part-time job, things like that. So I sent in that over email and they said, great, this is what it is. This is what the interest rate is. Um, and there was a loan origination fee, okay? And then there was also something, if you don't have insurance, you have to purchase insurance in case you don't pay for this because this is not gonna report to your personal credit whatsoever. So I, I believe it was like three, three thousand dollars between the two of them I, I forgot um, but the reason why I got this loan was because I needed to leverage the cash flow for something quickly and so I did that um, and I didn't want to report to my personal credit and I didn't I didn't have when I was getting this I didn't have uh, I wasn't able to qualify for any SBA lending because I wasn't in business for so many years and 
there's just a lot of stuff. So it's hard. The hardest part of starting a business is just starting, getting the capital to jump into it, leaving a job, things like that. The transition is tough, right? So this right here, you can basically go all the way up to $250,000. Um, when I got the funding, basically uh, I sent in the pay stubs. I agreed to the offer. I electronically signed. Then somebody the next day came to take a picture of me with my ID to make sure I was who I said I was. And then the following day, the, the funds were in my account and that was it. Okay, so I wanna say the process can be two to three days given you're not doing this on a Friday, okay? Um, and they're pretty, they're super quick about it, okay? So uh, how much are you looking for it? And you go through it, right? Or you can just call the 800 number. I called the 800 number. That was the process. Now, like I said, if you get $20,000, that's not gonna to report to your personal credit. That could be $20,000 for real estate. That could be $20,000 to pay off some debt quickly and then run it up again, whatever you wanna do. Um, but that is a really key thing is if you need money that doesn't report to personal credit, this could be an option for you. This is a legit option for you. Even if you Google BHG Gary V, Gary V's even spoken at this company uh, before. But it's an alternative source of funding. Obviously, an alternative source of funding can be more costly in the long run. So you need to do your research and figure out this is something that you want or not. But being able to get, maybe if you get $80,000 as a loan, and then you go get a loan from Lightstream and, um, or um, even SoFi, now you may have like $150,000 to $200,000 in unsecured <laughs> funding, right? From them just thinking that you're applying for 70 to 80, but you actually have double that because you have this BHG loan in the background, right? And so then you take that lump sum of money, you can buy real estate with cash and you can do the BRR method and fix it up and resell it. Now, they'll the BHG is going to be doing automatic bank withdrawals from your bank account, okay? So there's no way to get around that. And you can also ask them for a 90 day grace period to start due to COVID. Um, that's what I did and so I didn't actually I got my my money and I didn't start making my first payment till 90 days after Okay, also prepayment penalties are usually in there, but you can negotiate that out of there Everything is negotiable the interest rates negotiable Everything is negotiable Just make sure that you have a good relationship with the loan underwriter because they're obviously gonna get commission for it. They're all hungry salespeople make sure everything fits as best as you can and make sure you have a plan if you take this money out Okay that's gonna be the loan side of things. Also, any type of questions, put in the comment sections. I'm gonna pin the content information again for you on the video so that way you guys have this website. You can apply over the phone or you can apply on, on there. I don't get any affiliate commission from this. This is just me trying to help you guys out. They also have the business credit cards. Once you get funding, they're gonna send you to the credit card department seeing if you wanna get a business card. You can, I did a whole video on these business cards. Make sure you watch that video. Make sure you watch all the playlists as well because there's a ton of value in there. Bottom line, I was able to secure even more funding on 0% APR for six months and a balance transfer, um, no annual fee, and where does it say this? Will not report on your personal credit report. Will not appear in your personal credit report. The key is you gotta do the business and not the personal. This review kind of ran a little long, so I wanna make sure that I stop the video, but make sure that you like this video, make sure you comment your questions. Have you had BHG, how was your experience? They are a little bit more expensive on the APR, but there's they're also not reporting to your personal credit, so there's value in that if you need that. But this isn't for everybody to just go get that unless you have a plan for that money, okay? But I wanted to bring this to light to people because many people don't know about this. And I actually found this, and I think I'm like one of the first to find this because I, I made the first video on it, okay, a long time ago. But anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Put a comment in the comment section. I don't care if it's a great video. Help other people see this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys have an amazing day, and be blessed. Take care.